Hi guys, I'm Valentine and thanks for joining me for this quick tutorial on importing a request from your browser into Postman. In case you have a more complex request in your browser that involves a lot of parameters, cookies, headers and god knows what and you do not want to manually import and type everything in Postman, I wanted to show you a better way how you can do it. So just let me show what I'm talking about. So I'm currently at Trello.com and this is a very nice online tool for managing to-dos and lists and stuff like that. And in this case I have here a list and I will be adding a new task to it. So first of it I'm gonna click the inspect button and I'm currently in Chrome so I'll go to network and I'm expecting that this request will be an XHR request. But this solution works basically for any type of request that your browser is doing. Just to make sure I will preserve the log here. And when I'm creating actually this task, let's call it test. And I'm adding the add button. I'll see that in the background, this request actually happened. So I'll see that this is a post request and it has actually a lot of request headers and also the request payload is having a lot of information in it. So what I'm gonna do in this case, I'm just gonna click on this request that was already sent. I'm gonna copy and then I copy as C URL. And after I did this, I can go to Postman and right here on top there is import and I have the possibility here of pasting raw text. So this is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to just paste the CURL request that I copied from the browser and I'm going to hit the import button. And Postman will automatically fill all the fields that need filling. So it has the right request method, it has the right URL, it has the right headers, it has filled the body with all the information that is needed. So all I can do now is just, if I want to, I can submit a request or save it in a collection in Postman, but this is just a very quick and easy way. If you have a request in your browser and you would like to use it or manipulate it with Postman or do anything, uh, inside Postman but having a more complex request where you don't want to type everything this is a very quick and easy solution on how you can do that. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you have learned something new. Make sure you check the description for further tips and tricks on Postman and make sure you leave me a comment if you have any questions on Postman and I'll promise to do my best to leave a video response to that. Take care and bye bye.